before I get into the video that y'all came here to see, I just wanted to share with you all my business. Um, yes, I have a um, small business, me and my three daughters. It is called Diamond Girls, where we make um, soy-based handmade candles. Um, we've been in business a couple years now, and it has done really well, so I have no complaints. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you all. And if you'll notice, I always put the business information in the cards down below the video. Um, we make soy based handmade candles, uh, with essential oils. And this is one of the jars. This is our luxury candle, um, jar. And it just says diamond girls It's very clean cut. It's white. And then the inside of it is gold. As you can see why it would be considered luxury y'all. Um, we make this size and then we have a 10 size candle as well. Um, so yeah, we, uh, like I said, have been in business for a couple years now and it's just me and my three daughters and we are a small black owned business. So I just wanted to give you all that information in case you did want to purchase. Um, of course I'm gonna plug our own business, right? <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, our website is diamond slash girls with a Z dot org. Um, I will put that information in the cards down below as I always do. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of, I just wanted to plug that really quick. But anyways, I will let you all get to the video that y'all came here to see. Um, but th again, thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Um, coming back to for more and more videos to listen to what I have to say. I appreciate that. Anyways, our website again is diamond uh, slash girls with a Z dot org. And again, that information will be down below. All right. I'm gonna let y'all get to the video that you all came here to see. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am here with a coffee video today. Um, against my better judgment, I purchased the K Slim. And the reason I say against my better judgment is because over the past, I would say maybe about seven to eight years, I've been purchasing Keurigs. And I feel like I am a avid coffee drinker, meaning that I drink coffee just about every day. So I will use my Keurig every single day. Um, and after I would say like two years, they would break down. I would have to go through the warranty and they would break down. So um, I would have to keep getting them. So I was like, I'm not getting another Keurig. I am just going to use a regular coffee pot and then I have an espresso. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to use my espresso um, and I'm going to use my regular coffee pot. However... I was like, okay, I really miss having a Keurig. I really miss having just like a single eight ounce cup of coffee because for all those know, know about the Nespresso, the pods, um, like it's like a whole experience. And it's like, obviously when you have to run out to work, you don't have time to have that whole Nespresso experience, which I absolutely love my Nespresso by the way. However, Every day is not a Nespresso type day, right? So I was like, okay, let me just not go crazy with the Keurig this time because I'm missing my Keurig. Let me just get something small. And I did some research and I came across the K Slim, which is a single serve basically. However, I noticed that you can, um, it goes up to 12 cups. So you can do a eight ounce, um cup you can do six and you can do 12. so i am going to turn y'all around because i'm actually getting ready to make me some hot chocolate um because it's later in the evening i'm actually getting ready to go to bed but i wanted to show y'all um what this k slim is like um and i actually have been enjoying it i got it a couple days ago so i wanted to share it so i'm going to turn y'all around so that y'all can see it and i'm going to actually make a cup of hot chocolate actually so here we go Okay, so this is my actual coffee station, number one. So there's my espresso, and then here is the Keurig. And so this is what the K Slim looks like. Um, and so at the top here, it is just the power button, and then there is just one button, um, and this is just how you brew the coffee. Or 
tea or whatever you put in here, hot chocolate, whatever. And so as stated, um, there is six, move that back, six, eight, 10 and 12. So right now I just have an eight ounce cup in there because I actually um, put um, hot chocolate in there. So this one is so simple, y'all. You just press it. And as y'all can see, I just have eight, eight ounces in there. I think it's probably just warming up. Yeah, it's just warming up. So it's really nothing to see. Super simple. Super duper simple. Okay. And so you can hear it heating up. And it's probably gonna just take a second simply because I haven't used it at all today, but here it comes. Very, very easy. Nothing to it, literally nothing to it. Um. So also y'all, I just poured, this is what the tank looks like. This does not come off. So, I'll let this get done. Okay, so it's done. All right, so nice and thick, rich, hot chocolate. Okay, so what I did notice was when I bought this, because I was like, okay, this doesn't come off at all um so i filled this up because i put vinegar and water in here and i ran it through um twice just to clean it out so this is new like i said i've only used it a couple times um i recommend okay so as y'all can see there is literally nothing to the case slim um it is so easy so simple i do recommend cleaning your keurig out i would say at least once a month um, because you do not want it to get clogged. And I want to say with my very first carry, that probably was my issue. I wasn't descaling it and cleaning it out um, often enough. Because I, like I said, I, I use my carry every single day. Um, I probably will clean mine out every two weeks. I will just run vinegar through it. Vinegar and hot water is how I clean mine out. I don't buy that descaler. I used to whenever I had um, a carry previously. That really don't, to me... I'm personally not the descaling type. I don't want to go through all that and have to unprogram and do all that. Um, I just run hot water vinegar through it um, one cycle. And then I do clean water for two cycles. And that's how I do it. So I do recommend doing it at least once a month. Like I said, for me, because I drink coffee every day. Um, I'll be doing math every two weeks just to make sure that it's clean. Just to make sure that it's not um, clogged at all. Um, so for that case slim, um, so far I love it. It's very easy. Like I said, it goes up to 12 ounces of coffee. Um, the machine itself was about $60. I got it from Target. Um, and it was on sale because I think it normally runs for like $89, $90. But it was on sale this particular day for $60. So I was like, let me jump on it. Um, I'm trying to think what else, y'all. I think that's really it. Like I said, it ain't really much to it. Um... I love it personally, but yeah, anyway, that is it. That is all. Thank you all so much for coming back to my channel. Do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.